So if you paid attention to this channel long enough, you've probably heard about the mode extraction and we've talked about multiple times on it. It's a leaked out mode that 343 effectively confirmed as well as I covered in a previous video, but it looks like we have another PVE mode that was just leaked out. So if you wanna know everything, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. And did you know that 65% of viewers are not subscribed to the channel? If you wanna stay updated with everything going on with Halo with season three, four, five, six, and whatever's happening afterwards, well, make sure you stay subscribed. So incredibly reliable leaker, Sir Asia, tweeted this out. Bastion, Bastion PVE on the map, Scar. And you can see that this icon is a King of the Hill icon. So a lot to break down there. Let's first talk about the mode Bastion. And it looks to be a King of the Hill type of mode. That's PVE. This is gonna be a little different than what Extraction seems to be, where Extraction seems to be kind of more like take a bomb to a location kind of thing, and then you have to defend it. That seems to be the kind of gameplay flow. And this one's gonna be a little bit more free flowing, hectic of just hold on to a hill, kind of like we have with the regular King of the Hill. Now the map Scar is the first time I've heard this name mentioned at all, but what I've been hearing from other leaks and rumors going around, that this is a official naming convention of the map engine that we've talked about months in advance here, which is a big team battle style map, which if you want to know what engine looks like, just Google search it, Halo Infinite BTP map engine, you'll find it because it does look incredible. Now will Bastion come in along with season four with extraction that's left to be seen. Again, these are all just leaks and rumors, but a lot of these leaks and rumors are relatively accurate. Maybe some slight things will change like what dates exactly, but for the most part, we can expect to see this coming to the game. And a PVE experience is desperately needed right now for Halo for just some casual jump in, blow some stuff up because of how strict skill based matchmaking is within casual multiplayer. You can't really have that experience right now in Halo Infinite. This could also be a reason why we've recently seen the change when it comes to the challenge system within Halo Infinite. They become even more generic where it's just play games, get a kill with an assault rifle kind of stuff. Because if you're going to integrate these PVE things, you, you can't do specific things like stop at enemy killing spree. So 343 could be gathering some data about the challenge system right now. So when season four comes in with these PVE modes, they have the proper data to know, okay, how many kills should you have to get if you're still gonna be playing these PVE modes specifically, but also with the PVP people, be able to make progression equally at the same rate. It's an awkward mathematical equation, but there's something out there I think they can figure out. But what if I told you the leaks are not done yet? We have some information about season four customization and the return of the Tenrai event. And of course, quoted our favorite Leaky Boy Sarah just saying, what if I told you the hazmat core in season four isn't a fracture? And the season four fracture is Tenrai 2. Now hearing hazmat, you might be thinking like, no, he just made a typo of has up, which we already have in Halo Infinite. Could be the case, obviously. This could be just internal naming conventions, but we should begin a brand new core as we normally do when it comes to a brand new season. But Tenrai 2, that's gonna be interesting, which I think Tenrai 2 might actually be a thing. If you go here, guys, in one of this last cinematic trailers that showcased the Oni door, right? Look at this. This is a Yo Roy armor Spartan right here, but take a look at the legs. Those are like poncho pants that this character has on. If I put this down in slow motion, you get a chance to see a little bit better those are a bit of customization we had, do not have right now for the yo roy core so that's gonna be really interesting to see like how they bring in this new customization which i think actually might be a really good thing for the core system when it comes to halo infinite because right now with the fracture cores you can only get so much customization by playing the game. Most of it's tied to the store for you to look all bougie and fancy however you want. So let's look at this Yorbright Armor Cores, for example, to show you what I'm talking about. So let's look at like the shoulder pads right, right here. I have two different shoulder pads I can choose from. This one and this one. All the other choices were bought through the store. So unless I'm willing to shell out some money, I'm not really getting that much in the way of customization. Same kind of thing for the helmet. I have, there are four helmets to choose from in this entire armor core. I feel so underutilized. Or how about this one piece of customization for the glove? There's literally no customization for that. And seeing that Spartan in your Roy armor with different customization on makes me believe that yes, there will be a 10 ride two for season four. Now what will be in that customization and potentially a new fracture battle pass? Well, it's a developing story. So I'll let you guys know all here on this channel.